Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video and let's thank our members Scott's Invictus Incredible, thank you guys, uh, the Fulcrum members, thank you all the Foxhound Patreons, Rupert, uh, Danny Cage, Richardson and Interceptor, it helps a lot, thank you all the members, all the Patreons, it helps a lot man, you have no idea, uh, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it, so uh, today we're going to take another look on the decal, I know I already did a video talking about the MiG-29 but a lot, of, a lot of people were talking about the helicopter, the tank, the ship, and I just wanted to make a quick video talking a little bit about it. A kind of a rumor kind of thing, but still. Uh, a lot of people were saying that this was not a MiG-29, which is... I mean... I mean... It is a MiG-29. Right? It, it, it just is a MiG-29, right? Uh, so, yeah. and But there is a detail here that I wanted to talk about. This little thing here, it feels like it is um, uh, another pylon, which would make it having uh, four pylons. Uh, you know, some MiG-29s used four pylons, especially the MiG-35 and the prototypes uh, for the MiG-29M. But um, in general, normally it's six. Um, and with many things that you see here, you will see that probably this is just not as of a high detail as we thought it would be, you know, uh, maybe there is some just weird stuff in here that we can talk about, but uh, it is just weird, right? So I will like give you very, um, a lot of uh, examples of this, but it feels like there is some sort of differences between this decal and real life, you know, um, but I mean, we are just getting too much into this, right? I think it's too much but still uh but yeah the mig 29 is here not a suit 27 especially because of the uh the back here the suit 27 is a lot more uh, longer and the and bigger in general the, the space between the canopy and the wings are would be uh more separated than the mig 29 so yeah it just makes sense that it is a mig 29 right uh then we have the tanks the tanks are the same as you see here and it's really really hard we couldn't find the tanks actually that were used here um not at first at least uh with the muzzle brake here we kind of think it's uh, 125 millimeter millimeter or something like that similar to something uh, i mean it feels like it is it could be something like this the object 292 but i don't know man i it doesn't feel like this is it uh there are many many options uh but none of them seems to fit exactly um, even people were saying like, like Merkava and stuff, but this muzzle brake is just different. So maybe it is a Merkava, but the artist just added a weird muzzle brake there, which I found kind of weird. I don't think that's it, you know. I think it is on purpose, these vehicles, probably. Um, and then we have the helicopter. A lot of people were saying that it is the AH-56 or even the AH-66. But, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, look at the, uh, the the way that the canopies are. The wings. I mean, canopies, wings, you know. Canopies, wings. It's an MI-24. It might be something like this that has the side. I think this is ammo or something that it's carried right on the side here. Um, some version of the MI-24. You know, it could be something like this. But in general, uh, it is an MI-24. It's just is that you know and then we have the ship the ship is kind of kind of correct i think uh we have uh this this ship which is the stere uh corvette uh so yeah it's it's very very similar if you take a look on the masts here with the radar the mast mast radar mast mast and the radar on the middle it just makes sense right and then you have this kind of little radars here or something out of series or something, you know. Um, and then just the way that the ship is, is probably this. But the thing is, this ship is very, very modern. It's very, very modern. So why is it here, right? Uh, maybe it's something like uh, what it will be in the future of War Thunder, you know, MiG-29s and modern tanks and modern helicopters and modern ships or something like that. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean even that the MiG-29 is coming soon. So it probably, I mean, it, ha it has a 50-50% of chance of 
being something or being nothing. Um, the thing that I wanted to make a point here is that there are some inconsistencies here in like the guns, the pylons, the, the way that uh, this part on the MI-24 is, you know, the way that the ship is down here, it's kind of weird. So there's many, many inconsistencies, which makes you wonder uh, if this is even supposed to mean anything, you know, probably doesn't. Uh, but I wanted to talk about uh, expectation, basically, because a lot of people are expecting this to be a major thing, and it probably is not. That's just what it is, you know. So maybe it doesn't mean anything that a MiG-29 is here. I am the more optimistic kind of guy, so I really think that it means, but I would just remain with the low expectation. Uh, because Gaijin actually likes this kind of thing, you know, of adding these minor details that people... Just tease people of what's coming or something like that. Um, a lot of the marketing of Gaijin, uh, I feel like it's based on hype, you know. So it makes sense, right? Uh, to have this type of thing, just to make people talk about it. I mean, it's just another anniversary, you know. But if you add something like this, you make people talk about the game. And you ha you can see that on, the on my videos, you know. Um, this patch was not the greatest patch ever with the um, Finland, Finnish uh, stuff and stuff like that. And even with that, uh, I mean, you got some views in the videos, 2,000 views, 1,000 views, stuff like that. But it was nothing compared to the dev server, for example. And especially, I mean, I made a video on a little decal like this, just talking about the MiG-29. And it had like, it has like 10,000 views, uh, like five times more than the MiG-21 from, from the Finnish ones. So we are getting stuff from the uh, from the hype, you know. Uh, the hype is real. The hype is making the marketing options uh, for guiding. So it just makes sense, right? Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe. Um, be a member. Be a patron. I left a link in the description. Se você é brasileiro para usar o Pix para doar pro canal, and I will be doing a PayPal as well soon to. For you guys to be able to donate if you want to right so yeah thank you guys and i see you guys on the next one